Okay, so um, I'm working on another Codality algorithm today. Um, and today I'll just read the question rather than uh, summing it up. A small frog wants to get to the other side of the road. The frog is currently located at position X and wants to get to position greater than or equal to Y. The small frog always jumps a fixed distance D. Count the minimum number of jumps that the small frog must perform in order to reach its target. Write a function, function solution x, y, d, that given three integers x, y, and d, returns the minimal number of jumps from position x to a position equal to or greater than y. For example, if x is equal to 10, y is equal to 85, and d is equal to 30, the function should return 3, because the frog will be positioned as follows. After the first jump, it'll be at position 10 plus 30, which is 40. After the second jump, it'll be at position 10 plus 30 plus 30, which is 70. And after the third jump, it gets to the other side, because it starts at position 10, then it jumped three times, which is 30 times three. So it got to position 100, which is past uh, position y is equal to 85. Write an effective algorithm for the following assumption x, y, and d are integers within the range 1 to 1 billion, and x is always smaller than y. Okay, so let's think about this. We have our x, which is equal to starting position we have y, which is equal to end position, and d, which is equal to jump distance. So technically, if we think of this mathematically, all we really have to do is y minus x divided by d to get the number of jumps. And if y minus x mod d has a remainder, jumps plus 1 else jumps equal to jumps. That's basically it. This could be done in all of one time. At least that's what it looks like to me. Maybe I missed something. So let's see. Let jumps equals y minus x divided by d. I think that will return the value without a remainder. And then let so now we could say if, so let's say y minus x modulus d greater than 1. If so, d plus plus. Otherwise, true. So that should be cool. So we're using the tertiary operator, which is like shorthand for if statement. So this would actually be the same as if. There is no difference between the two. It's just a different way of writing it. So, I mean, that wouldn't even be d plus plus. That's uh, jumps plus plus. Jumps plus plus. Sorry. Then we can return jumps. Let's see if that works. Probably not. Invalid result type. Integer expected, non integer found. What happened? So y minus x 
let's see what happened. So we're going to print out number of jumps. So we had 2.5 jumps, right? Okay, so that worked. So now if y minus x modulus d, the jump distance, is not equal to zero. Swirl dot log jumps. Oh, so it's actually so it's not taking the um, it's, it's giving us a decimal number instead of an int. So let's say parse int. So it can't have a decimal number see that so two three okay so that is the correct answer and we just did a cast here to an integer okay so that looks good can we have any um, y is always greater than X and uh, yeah let's see do we have any edge cases I don't think so. I might be missing something, but it doesn't look like that. So let's give it a shot, and we'll fix whatever it complains about. Okay, so we got 88%, and it's complaining about one big jump. So in the case where there's only one jump, got two expected one. In the case where one jump could get us to the end, it's returning the wrong number, so it's incrementing. Okay, so let's fix that. Switch to JavaScript. And we know the condition in which we had issues. Edge case, one jump to complete. So here, we had one jump. So I'm thinking I didn't understand the cause of the issue, but we're going to try and solve it anyways. So if because this should work regardless, but what might be happening is that a parse int of a value that is 0.8 might be returning a one. Let's see. No, it isn't. It's returning zero. Push int y minus x. What if I don't increment this? That's where it gets a bit difficult isolating why it's failing. So y minus x is the distance modulus d is not equal to zero and jumps plus plus. And let's 
is d x I will get back and think about this because I am stuck. Okay, so this is what was happening. In the case where d is larger than a y minus x or the distance that has to be jumped, if you were to um, take the modulus of that, you would get the distance to be jumped since um, any large number divided by a smaller number will have the remainder of the smaller number. So that is incorrect. So at all times, we must also make sure that d, that y minus x is greater than d. Otherwise, we don't increment the number of jumps because the entire, um, it will only take one jump in order to um, complete it. So let's submit the task. Okay, and we got 100%. And as you can see, our time complexity was O of 1. Because we could have used the loop, but there was no need. Because in this particular example, uh, equation or just simple math would solve the issue. And sometimes they come up. Uh, so it's good to keep that in mind. So that's all for now. I hope it helped. And uh, till next time.